In the alleged scandal, the Ministry of Health is said to have lost 5 billion shillings allocated to the free maternity program as well as the immunization of children. Revelations that have divided public opinion with members of the opposition engaging with those allied to the government in accusations and counter-accusations. And after reconciliation of figures raised in the interim financial audit report, the government has released a report detailing what it says are the actual figures in question. It says the audit queries had gross exaggeration of figures involved, as well as the application of inappropriate methodology, saying that there was no figure of 5 billion shillings that correlates to the audit queries raised by the internal auditor. The government also takes issue with the interim financial audit report, arguing it was not put through the standard internal processes, that any interim audit report should go through further reading mischief in the release of audit queries even before the specific audit queries had been discussed and responses and reconciliations provided. The government asserts that the amount that was the subject of the interim audit was 3,121,061,247 shillings and not the 5 billion shillings as alleged, an amount that it says was spent in accordance with the law and for intended purposes. It argues that the auditor did not identify any fraud or misappropriation of funds with the latest report by government documenting the amount paid to each company in question and what was supplied. The matter has now been referred to the Office of the Auditor General. John Jacob Curia for Channel 1 News.